Welcome, Missouri River Detectives, to an investigation brought to you by Missouri River Relief. I want you to take a look at this image. What do you notice? Exactly, there's a dam that's been built across the water. Does anyone know who might be responsible for this construction? That's right, beavers. Maybe you've seen one of these furry friends around here before, but I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't. Beavers are actually nocturnal, which means that they normally are awake during the night and sleep during the day. They are easily identified by their big paddle tail and can be found roaming around bodies of water. Here we can see a busy beaver at work, dragging a newly cut stick back to one of their constructions. Many of us have heard that beavers build dams or cause blockages in flowing water, but I want to discuss why beavers actually build dams in the first place. A dam is a structure that controls the flow of water. Beavers build dams to cause the water to be stalled and flood in an area around their home. This prevents predators from easily accessing their dens, which are separate from the dams. A beaver den can be found either built into the banks of the river or built up in the middle of a flooded area. What about these dams? Who do you think built them? And what purposes do they serve? Like a beaver who builds a dam to control the flow of water and protect their den from predators, humans also build dams as a way to control and manage the flow of rivers. There are three main reasons why people build dams. To store the water for future use behind the dam, to control flooding, and to generate electricity. Most people in Missouri don't know this, but there are several dams built on the Missouri River. These dams are located across several states, including Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska. These dams on the Missouri River work together to manage the river. The dam that we'll be learning about today is the Fort Peck Dam. The Fort Peck Dam was built in 1933 by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. In order to make room for what would become the lake behind the dam, many residents of the area were forced out by the government who purchased the land from them at market value. Unfortunately, the Great Depression had greatly impacted the cost of land and so many people were unhappy with the forced sales. Since the Fort Peck Dam is located in Montana and the highest of the major dams located along the Missouri River, its main purposes are to help control flooding downstream of the dam and to generate hydroelectric power. When an excessive amount of rain falls, the dam withholds the water from flowing downstream and overwhelming the banks of the channelized Missouri River. But how does a dam like this generate electricity? How are we able to use the naturally available river water to power our cities and towns? To understand hydroelectric power and how dams can create electricity, we need to understand the relationship between natural resources and the generation of power. There are two types of resources, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable resources are those that are able to be renewed or reused infinitely, like wind, solar, and hydro, also known as water, power. Non-renewable resources are those which are limited and will not be restored within our lifetime. Minerals, oil and gas, are examples of non-renewable resources. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of renewable and non-renewable resources. First, the pros or positive features. Renewable resources are often much safer for the environment than non-renewable resources, and they're unlimited in supply. But non-renewable resources are cheaper, primarily because people have already built structures to collect them. Non-renewable resources are also more reliable. Now the cons. Renewable resources are not as reliable. 
For example, it's not always windy, sunny, or rainy. And because humans are still experimenting with how best to use these resources, collecting renewable energy is expensive. Non-renewable fossil fuels have a negative impact on our environment. For example, oil can leach into the water supply and harm humans, plants, and animals. Another issue is that the amount of fossil fuels is limited. When it's gone, it's gone. To avoid running out of fuel, more countries are working to develop the non-renewable resources. As more structures are built, the cost of renewable energy will go down, making it more competitive with non-renewable resources. The Fort Peck Dam is an example of using hydropower. If we take a look back at the main purposes for building the Fort Peck Dam, generation of electricity was one of them. The dam uses hydropower to create this electricity. Dams are able to take the physical motion of a turning mechanical propeller and transform it into electricity. The water that is built up behind the dam flows down into an area called the penstock. Here it pushes on a turbine or a large propeller that is connected to a generator. The turbine turns as the water flows past its propellers. This action transforms the movement of the water into electrical power in the generator. This electricity leaves the dam in the power lines and makes its way to our homes. If there's not enough water flowing through the penstock, then the propeller won't turn and electricity will not be produced. Many people near Fort Peck Dam use the electricity generated from the dam's hydropower, but they don't know how the energy comes from the Missouri River or what impact the dam has on the environment. Since a lot of people drive past Fort Peck Dam and its large reservoir lake, we're going to create a billboard advertisement to share how their electricity is connected to this natural resource. The key to good advertisements is to catch the attention of the audience and to clearly share your message. Here's an example. Think about what types of images or slogans you might want to include on your billboard. You'll have a couple of minutes to design your billboard advertisement. Feel free to draw a picture or just use words that you think might catch the eye of your audience and fill out the billboard sign on your worksheet. Energy and fuel come from natural resources, which in turn have an impact on the environment. Wasteful use of our resources can not only be expensive, but can cause harm to ourselves and others. One should always be mindful to not needlessly waste electricity. Brainstorm some ways that you might be able to save electricity in your day-to-day -day life. Thank you all for joining Missouri River Relief on this investigation into how dams work along the Missouri River. See you on the river.